All right. So uh, thank you for coming. I'm Alan Glickenhaus. I'm the API business strategist for IBM. Um, I have the best job in IBM. Uh, so what I do is go around to businesses around the world, all different industries, all different sizes, and just chat with them about what they're thinking about doing with APIs, uh, how it can help their business, share information from one business to another, see what's going on, share best practices, tell them what's not working, things like that. So. Um, so I speak at API days. Uh, I've, I've been doing API days for many of them now uh, in many different geographies. I'm uh, also doing individual customer visits. Um, and we have some good stuff going on here as well uh, this week. So I'll be speaking tomorrow uh, on a maturity model that I was one of the authors for, talking about how we see the API economy maturing from where it has been through where it is now to where it's going in the future. Unlike Uli, I'm not going to share all my slides. Uh, I, I want you to come to the session tomorrow and see that. Uh, so I'm going to just share three slides with you that are the backup slides uh, that I have uh, in, in the deck. Um, as John said, uh, so in addition to speaking at conferences and speaking with customers, what I do to share the information that I have is write. And, and so I write blogs, I write articles for periodicals, I record videos, I do all kinds of things. Um, like that. And so these are resources that I want you to be able to access. Um, and, and so all of these are open to you. You can access them. Um, and I'll explain the purpose of some of these in, in a few minutes. Um, in addition to myself being here, we're going to have others from IBM that are here. We're going to do a workshop with the hands-on lab. Definitely encourage you all to do that. We're going to have a booth uh, where you can find out more information about what we do in this space. Uh, I would love to spend more than the few minutes I'm going to spend with you now and the 25 minutes or so I'm going to spend with you tomorrow talking to you about what else I can help you with. What else can I share with you? And, and so tomorrow's session is going to be about a maturity model. And that's two lines out of the things that I'm going to be showing you in, in, the, in here. So these are the kind of topics that I typically talk about with customers and that I write about. Uh, the writings come from my talking, right? So it's kind of all, all related. So the top left one is kind of the big one that you need to have. Uh, that one links to everything else. And so um, I just wrote one yesterday. <laughs> and that one is uh, this bottom one here, creating a digital ecosystem, past, present, and future. Um, and so if you get this deck from the conference, I already sent it to them without that link in it. So, but if you go to the first link, it'll be there, because everything is linked from there, OK? Um, the first 100 that I wrote about are in the, the second link. There are actually about 125, 130 things right now. So I'll, when I get to the next 100, I'll, pay, <laughs> I'll update to, <laughs> to, uh, to 200. Um, and I kind of categorize them. So the left column here, uh, one of the biggest issues I see uh, is that APIs frequently are developers and technical people talking to other developers and technical people. And for this to really take off, in uh, the way the web has taken off, you know, we don't think of the web as a technical thing anymore, right? It's a business thing. And, and we need to get this API thing to be like that. And, and in order for that to happen, we need to be able to explain to the business people why they should care. And saying API to a business person is like doom, right? You know, uh, so you say API and they say go down the hall and talk to the technical people, right? So, so you have to kind of put it into their terminology, get, get it into uh, things that they will care about. And so some basic information to explain to a novice, to explain to a business person who says, why should I care? You know, that's, that's column one, right? Uh, and that's, that's up there. And I'm continuing to add to all these columns uh, as I see a need to write something new. Of course, with all the focus on digital business, digital transformation, I'm starting to put things in the context of, of, of that. And so a lot of uh, what I'm talking about now is how do businesses become a, a digital business. And the ecosystem thought was one that popped into my head from some, for some reason. And so I started writing about that as I started traveling around the last week or so and published it, um, I think, last night. Uh, so, uh, so, so that's the, the most current one. Page two. Business and value. Um, so this is all about monetization and ROI and a lot of the other things that business people will care about, right? So how do I make money with APIs? 
topic I often present on. I think I'm going to be presenting on monetization at one of the upcoming conferences. Um, uh, it does not mean charging for APIs. So let me get that right out there because uh, so many people are running around saying, I want to charge for my APIs. I want to make money from my APIs. Making money from my APIs is absolutely a great thing and you should definitely focus on that. Charging for your APIs is maybe not the way to be thinking about that. And if you want to have a discussion on monetization, I've written a paper on that. It's one of the links in here. Um, and I've talked about four uh, overall models, but there are 28 sub-models, and in the paper you'll get examples of a company that's doing every one of those models. Right? So monetization is a topic that I talk to a lot of businesses about. This right column is probably where I spend the most of my time. Um, strategy. Strategy, governance, best practices, what doesn't work. One of my favorites is the seven biggest mistakes companies make on their API initiatives. Um, down to dealing with legal and things like that. And so uh, I started to get asked questions about strategy uh, a couple of years ago now. And I had already written some of these topics. Like I've, I've talked, I think, at some of the previous API Days conferences about the four business drivers and the seven use case categories and the methodology that I came up for identifying good APIs in these different categories. So those were written. But then people started to ask me other questions and said, well, how do I create an API economy strategy? And so I, I said, well, let me think about that. What, what goes into a strategy? And I started to just list, without even looking at anything, what would I put in a strategy? And then I started to say, OK, I covered these items already. I need to write something to cover these. And I filled out the column. So basically, this column is kind of my thinking on an API economy strategy uh, from beginning to end. And I've also got slides on that, um, as well as uh, uh, you know, all these blogs. So, so there's a lot on that. Tomorrow, I'll be talking about these two lines. <laughs> uh, so, so we called it a, a journey map. Uh, and this is basically, how do you see where you are in your progress? Right. So you're doing something. And where are you? And we've identified um, business and technical aspects to this. And I'll take you through the, the model tomorrow in the presentation. The third page uh, gets into architecture, technology, and our product. Uh, I don't write a lot about our product. Um, uh, we have a great product. <laughs> uh, and we have technical people that can tell you all about our product. But uh, my, my role is more just to kind of introduce the product as a way that it meets the business requirements that we've identified, right? So I go from business requirements down into architecture. I don't get into the features and functions of the product. But we will have people here that can. So if you want to talk about our product and, and the things that we do um, and positioning against other vendors, you know, we can certainly have that kind of a debate. Um, but that's not me. Um, the right column here is industry. And so we're focusing a lot on finance here. You'll see a lot of things on banking and finance and insurance and so on, but all the industries. I cover uh, all the industries. And basically, what I've done in here is come up using the methodology that I have defined for what's a good API, I've applied it to every industry. And so uh, I, just to give you some samples, now industries are broad things, right? And some people in an industry do some things and some people do others. So I don't feel like if you read this blog, you will know everything you need to do, uh, know about you know, what you should do for APIs in you know, insurance. Uh, that's not the meaning. What this is is the first set of APIs you might think about doing in these seven particular use case categories. right? So, so it's just a getting started kind of thought to make it real for people on what's out there. I also do a lot of discussion with people uh, about industry standards, regulatory requirements, like Uli was just saying. Um, you know, I think that's coming in some cases here, like PSD2 and the Open Banking Initiative. Uh, there is a, an interview, um, there it is, Q&A with the head of technology at Open Banking. So I interviewed him and just basically recorded his answers, and, and that's a pretty good one to read if you're in the banking industry. So that's all I wanted to share with you right now. I didn't want to get into the whole content for tomorrow. Uh, but I do want to speak to you more than this little bit right now and what I say tomorrow about the maturity model. So if any of those topics sound interesting to you, uh, please come up to me uh, tonight, tomorrow, Wednesday, and, uh, and have a chat. Thanks. <laughs>